Hello, this demo will show the general interface of Phenom Networks for browsing and viewing data. Starting from the home page, you need to select the crop you are interested in, and then log in. Here, I have two crops, tomato and maize, but other implementations may have other crops. To log in, type in your username and password. If you don't have them, just click on Sign Up. Then just click on the login button. After we log in, the top panel shows the main menu of the system. Also, we have an indication of the page that we are currently in. On the right, we can see the crop that we selected in the home page, which is tomato. So all data that we browse now is for tomato. If we want to change the crop, we can select it in this menu. The first page that we are presented with describes lists of lines, or sometimes referred to also as germplasm or genotypes. This is the genetic material that is represented by seed envelopes. These lists are organized into folders. Once we select a list, for example, let's pick this one, all lines in it are displayed on the right. A list can have several displays that can be customized according to the user. Each display shows basic information of the line, such as a common name, seed's envelope name, and possibly other names and attributes. To see more details, we can click on each line. After the click, we go to the Germplasm Details tab of the selected line. On the left, we can see schematic representation of the pedigree used to create this line. I can click the plus sign and then click on each parent to view its details on the right. Or going back to the original line. Then we have the preferred name of this line and a breeding method. For example, a breeding method can be selection, bulk, cross, and so on. And then we have generation. On the bottom there's a list of all possible names of that line, together with their name types. The list tab shows germplasm sets or lists that this line belongs to. And studies shows field names or experiments in which this line was planted. Next, we can go to the Germplasm Data tab. On the top, there is some basic information, which is familiar to what we've seen before. Below appears all traits data that was measured for this line. The title indicates the study, or the experiment name. And then we have a list of traits and their measured data. We can change the display option to make it vertical. or bring it back. Each trait can be clickable to see a description of this trait. Also the value can be edited if needed. Here there's another example where the line appears in more than a single experiment. So we can scroll down and view traits data per experiment. Also, images of the line that were taken in each experiment are listed on the side of the traits data. So we can view the data and its associated photos. Germplasm Images tab shows all photos as a gallery. We can browse images. and upload new ones using the browser button. Going back to the Germplasm details, we can click on the pedigree icon to go to the pedigree viewer tab. Here we can select the number of generations backwards 
and forwards that we wish to display and then click on the show button the pedigree is then displayed as a figure each colored circle represents a line where its parents are above and its offspring are below a brown color indicates a new line or introduction which doesn't have any parents in the system green colors represent a cross and indeed always have two parents an orange color indicates a selection and thus only has a single parent the yellow circle indicates that this is the current line that we've just viewed its details next we can display this pedigree as a list for this we click on the go button over here and all lines are displayed as a table on the manage sets tab alternatively we can go back to the pedigree figure and select particular lines from it for this I check the aggregate button and then click on the lines I want to select then click on the manage sets button now these selected lines are displayed as a table and can be put in a new or existing list to be viewed and accessed quickly. Finally, the Germplasm Query tab provides a simple search engine to find these lines according to names, attributes, and methods.